Volcanoes certainly make for some spectacular scenery. But why are they where they are? Mount Rinjani on the island of Lombok forms part of the so-called Ring of Fire, volcanic chains that encircle the Pacific Ocean. The volcanoes on the Asian side have largely grown out of the ocean. Those of the Americas erupted onto old continental crust. Let's take a quick tour going anti-clockwise around the ring, starting here on the southern tip of South America. The red triangles are those volcanoes that have been active in the past few thousand years, here forming the backbone of the Andes. These giants rise high above the Atacama Desert, peaks just under 6,000 metres high. Next stop, Ecuador. Sangay is a classic cone, a stratovolcano, over 5,000 metres high, so it's snow covered even on the equator. And on to Mexico. Popocatapetl, another 5,000 metre giant, really close and looming over Mexico City. There are rather few volcanoes in the southeast USA, but in the Pacific Northwest, we reach Mount St. Helens, famous for its eruption in 1980. Now, a smaller cone grows inside the old crater. Further north to Alaska and the volcanic island chain of the Aleutians. This volcano actually rises over 10 kilometers above the Aleutian Trench. It's just the top 2.8 kilometers that poke up above sea level to make the peak. The Aleutians run across to the Kamchatka Peninsula. This is Ebco on the Kuril Islands, one of the region's most active volcanoes. And the Kurils continue down to the islands of Japan and their famous volcanic landscapes the Okama Crater Lake, named for its resemblance to a cooking pot, and, of course, Fuji, perhaps the world's most photographed volcano and Japan's highest mountain. Running offshore, the volcanoes continue as a chain of submerged seamounts. But over in the Philippines, we have Mayan, nearly two and a half kilometres high, perhaps the archetypal stratovolcano. and so on down to Indonesia. Lots of volcanic islands, some small. Mananda Tua is just 600 meters high. But Tambora is a vast caldera, the remnants of the huge eruption in 1815 to lead to the year without a summer, probably the greatest eruption in the past 10,000 years. And finally on our tour, another famous remnant, Anak Krakatoa, the small island growing inside the remnant caldera from the 1883 eruption. So a quick tour around some of the highlights of the Ring of Fire. But to see how these volcanoes relate to the tectonics, we need to show the earthquakes, which is evidence for the relative motion of tectonic plates. So these are the main plate boundaries. Let's look at the Asian side side on. The volcanic chains lie right adjacent to oceanic trenches, places where the seabed is being taken back down into the Earth's mantle. This is subduction. And we'll find out more about subduction in our next film on our tectonic journey. So for now, we'll leave these volcanoes behind. Thank you for watching. I've been Rob Butler and you can find out more about tectonics on the Shear Zone channel.